Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away, and I am here to bring you my creative year. Uh, this month we are focusing on salvage, and this week we are focusing in on rust. So I thought it would be really cool to show you how to um, give something very plain and simple, say like this piece of cardboard and turn it into something that looks rusty. So, very easy uh, to do. I have done this before in another project for my creative year when I did the steampunk um, crackled heart project. And I'll link to that video in the description below. So what I'm going to do, jump right in here, I'm going to take my handy dandy pokey tool. What you want to do is you really want those ridges on this is you're just going to peel off the um, this the top layer of a corrugated piece of cardboard. It's very easy to do and very quick using this pokey tool but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull all the paper off and I'm also going to lay down a layer of gesso onto this because the cardboard will absorb any paint products or anything that you put on it um, fairly quickly and by using the gesso it just acts as a great um, prep. Um, gesso is a prep um, for substrate such as canvas. Um, but it also works really great with mixed media when you want to prep a surface for paint and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get all this paper off and I'm going to get this gessoed and I will be back as soon as that's done. Hi there. Uh, real quick before I start gessoing uh, this. Oh, and by the way, I got all the paper off so you can just see the, this here. Um, I just wanted to bring this out real quick. This is Art Guard by Windsor Newton. I will link to it in the description below. Um, I just kind of scoop my finger in there. And it's a barrier cream. And what it does is it protects your hands from the paint and all the different, um, different media that you use. Um, acrylic paints will really tear up your hands. So I um, just wanted to put that out there real quick. Um, I almost started without putting any on and then I'm going to end up with, you know, yucky hands. So real quick before I started to um, use my gesso, I just wanted to come back real quick and let you know about the air card. I'll be back after I'm done gessoing. Okay. Here we go. We've got that all done. Nice and dry and ready to go. All right, the first layer, I'm going to bring you out just a tad. You don't need to be in this close. The first color we're going to put down is Burnt Umber, and this is a Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylic with bits at the top. And it's going to go back and forth and I'm going to kind of turn it a, a bit because so many cracks and crevices, you really want to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. I really don't want any white to come through from the gesso even though it does make a wonderful um, prep surface for to accept the, uh, the color. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring this, painting coloring this, oh my gosh. Um, I'm going, I will be back after I'm done painting this whole thing with the burnt umber. I'm sure you just really want to watch me paint this whole thing, right? <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Okay, I have gone ahead and used my burnt umber 
And I don't know if you can tell I'm going to kind of turn it this way. Can you already see, you know, actually with the white behind it of the gesso, it's already kind of giving it a little bit of a grungy feel to it. We're going to grunge it up some more, of course, but I just thought that was really neat. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, some of this. This is Inca Gold Metallic Rub, and this is Copper. And you know what? Yes, this is, I've had it forever. Yes, it is dried out, but all I do is I just squirt it with some water, preferably not over my work. And this is just plain water. I've taken an old body, body spray um, can, whatever, um, and filled it with water. All right, I'm just going to take that bronze on a really um, beat up old brush. I'm just going to kind of dry brush this on because I don't want, I just want a hint of it to come through. You don't need a whole lot of it. Now you don't need to get down in the crevices or anything like that, but it's more a matter of um, just hitting those ridges. So that's all there really is to it. It's really pretty easy. And I know you probably are not seeing it on camera. And as soon as I'm done here, I will lift it up for you to see. It is added just a little bit more. To our grunginess that is going to become rust. So can you see how that's starting to get, ooh, it's like a snake. I'm getting more of a rust color to it. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. All right, I'm gonna just give this a quick shot with the heat gun. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've gotten that dry, I'm going to go in with golden fluid acrylic. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go in with my golden fluid acrylic in a quinacridone. We just call it quin gold. Quinacridone. That's kind of a big word, um, especially in the evening. So I am going to just put some of that here on my palette. And I am going to take a paintbrush. And I'm just going to go over what I've already done. And this kind of adds that real rusty look to it. I guess it would help if I open this up a little bit, wouldn't it? And you know what? A little goes a long way. You really don't need to put a whole lot. You don't want to oversaturate it too much. One of the things I like about fluid, acry fluid acrylics. Okay. All right, now you can see we're kind of getting that rusty look to it. Now, if you wanted it to be gritty, you could always add um, like a real fine sand you know, to it and make like a paste. 
um, if you're using a more flat surface, but that's not kind of, I think this is cool. And this is what I used in another project. So this is my go-to. I'm going to dry this up real quick. I'll be back. Okay. The one thing that you may not be seeing off camera, or maybe you are, I'm keeping my brushes here on my tray and I'm not cleaning them just yet because I may go back and play with the colors a little bit. Um, the one thing I'm going to do is this is um, Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics in Vermilion Orange. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the brush that I use the gold. And I'm going to dab that off. And I'm just going to kind of I'm just gonna, it's just gonna add a little bit more of that for that rust. It's gonna light very I just very, very lightly brushing this on. And I'm really using a beat up brush. As you can see. want it to look like it's just globs of orange here. But it just adds just enough. I've seen a lot of people do rust techniques and they everybody has a different way of doing it, different recipe recipes. This is just what works best for me. So I thought it would work best for you. I hope you're not hearing those notifications popping up on my my computer. To be honest with you, I forgot to turn them off. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab some water and wet that just a little bit. And I'm gonna come back. And this is the Quinn Gold. It's going to kind of come back with this color again and just kind of blend that all together. So I'm really getting a good rust look to it. All right. So the next color we're going to go to is the Burnt Sienna, and this is also by Golden. And we're just going to go over that. I know it's probably kind of like watching paint dry, but mixed media, especially when you're going for a specific technique, it's all about the layers. The layers play such an important part in achieving a specific goal. Add A and B, and you can't get to C. Unless you go through A and B first. And this is really adding it's really making this look rusty. Now imagine um, if you were adding this on a page. Ooh, this would look so grungy. Um I would suggest that if you are using metal, I would definitely make sure that you get a good coat of gesso on there first so that the paint has something to hold on to. If you're, especially if you're not using um, an alcohol ink. Some people will use 
alcoholics to um, to uh, color, you know, to get rust colors and stuff. And yes, I'm putting more orange on here because I just think it needs it. And I'm not doing it all over because rust doesn't happen all over. It's darker in some spots than others. Where I like to play with it. Yeah. Okay. Put them all up here. I like to turn it and look at it from different directions. Wow, that turned out really cool. And you know what? I'm just going to call me crazy. Well, I think I'm going to take a little bit more burnt umber. Just kind of bring that across, kind of. Oh my, yep, this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful rusty piece. Like I said, if you wanted, if you were doing this on a flat surface, I would suggest that you add, you know, something to make it a little, a little bit gritty. Um, I wonder if table salt would work. we go. All right, let me give this a quick dry. We'll be right back. Okay, this is all dry. I'll bring this up here. So I'm going to, I'm tilting it so you can see it because if I go like this, the light makes it shiny. I don't want, I don't want it to look shiny to you. Um, but there's, can you see the different variations of color in that? So that's my take on doing rust on a, on a surface for mixed media. And like I said, if you're using a flat surface, I would add um, a little bit of grit to it. Um, I think you can get some craft grit um, at your local craft store. If not, I would just get a little bit of sand or I wonder if even maybe a little bit of baby powder maybe might give it a little bit of grit or even I'm thinking like maybe in the kitchen what you could use maybe some um bake, baking excuse me baking powder um baking soda something with a little bit of grit to it but anyway this is my project for rust under uh for the month of October we're doing salvage this week we're doing rust and I made a rusty background. So I hope you like it. I hope you had a great time. I hope it, it encouraged you to do something crafty. And as always, please be nice. It's really not that difficult. Take care. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.